On the night of March 12, there was a drone attack on seven regions of Russia. This was reported by Russian telegram channels. Ukrainian drones hit Moscow, Korsk, Belgorod, Voronezh, Tula, Oryol and Nizhny Novgorod regions. Drones hit an oil base in the Oryol region and an oil refinery in Nizhny Novgorod. In Nizhny Novgorod, an explosion and a strong fire occurred at the oil refinery owned by Lukoil in one of the country's largest oil refineries. The plant has temporarily stopped its activity. In Belgorod region, seven settlements were left without electricity. Losses are not reported. Нахуй, блядь. Давай, ка я поеду сейчас. Прям через дорогу практически ебануло сейчас. И хуй знает, что непонятно. Вроде тихо было, не беспилотный. Ну, горит пиздец. Видно, нахуй, все в котлову дым. В общем, -мо, жесть как. Ukraine begins to destroy metallurgic enterprises inside Russia after oil refineries. New details have emerged of the Ukrainian drone attack on the Mikhailovsky mining and processing plant named after Varichev in the Kursk region according to Charter 97 media outlet. This plant supplied raw materials to the Ural Steel Company which in turn was a supplier to the armored vehicle manufacturer Ural Wagen Zavod. This event confirms that after a series of attacks on oil refineries, Ukraine is targeting metallurgic enterprises, the agency writes. The first drone hit a fuel tank and a fire started, the company said. The Mikhailovsky Mining and Processing noted that there were no casualties. TASS writes, when doctors and firefighters arrived at the plant, the plant was attacked by a second UAV, writes MASH. Governor Roman Starovoit said that no one was injured in the second attack either. Mikhailovsky Mining and Processing is one of the largest iron ore mining and processing enterprises in Russia. 
It belongs to Metalo Invest Company of Alicia Usmanov. In 2019, Metalo Invest published a release stating that the mining and processing plant produced a batch of iron ore pellets to the Ural Steel Company. As Proect wrote, Ural Steel supplied sheet metal to the manufacturer of tanks and other armoured vehicles, Ural Wagenzavod. In 2019, Ural Steel also belonged to Metallo Invest. The company was sold in 2022 to Zagorsk Pipe Plant. In December 2023, the Mikhailovsky Mining and Processing was already attacked by a drone. Then the UAV damaged the power supply lines of one of the plant's facilities, but the plant itself continued to operate. Metallurgic enterprises have likely become a new target for Ukrainian drones in Russia. On February the 24th, the Novolipetsk metallurgic plant, the products of which, according to the project, are used for the production of weapons, military equipment and machinery was attacked. Since the beginning of the year, Ukraine began regularly striking Russian refineries, with which Bloomberg linked the reduction in oil refining at Russian refineries by 380,000 barrels per day by mid-February. Other fuel infrastructure facilities are also being attacked. For example, four days ago, a drone apparently tried to attack the strategic Rushi oil depot in St. Petersburg.